Unlike in the past, ADB, uh, when we were first established, we just had to build roads and highways and everyone was happy. But in 2023 and beyond, what we do in Asia has a huge impact on the global community. Um, we have lots of projects that's happening that could emit greenhouse gas emissions. And also we are seeing a lot of, um, you know, once in a hundred year type of uh, disasters happening all, over, all around the world, so all, all around Asia. So we have to channel a lot of development financing to our region. But there's also a lot of um, crisis that's happening and there's a increasing uh, demand um, for the additional financing for the, uh, for the donors. So they're, they're competing demands. So the, the shareholders and the G20 are guiding us to look at ourselves to see what we can do to mobilize more financing without asking for direct uh, financial intervention from, uh, from our shareholders. So all of us, ADB and other multilateral development banks are looking at it. And we thought that we could look at how we manage our money and see if we can uh, adjust and recalibrate the prudential level of capitalization to see how much more headroom that we can generate. So this $100 billion will go a long way. But if you ask me, is this enough? Not really, because we need to turn billions into trillions by tapping private sector capital. What kind of uh, conditionality uh, Wu Chung is the ADB attaching uh, to this financing? Because clearly it can't be uh, money for nothing. That will create moral hazard. And uh, do you want to see and need to see uh, longer term evidence of longer term structural reforms and a roadmap from the beneficiary countries? So this, this, uh, this additional financing, which will take our financing from uh, 20, uh, 26 billion dollar a year to 36 billion dollars, which means 30, 360 billion dollars for the next 10 years. Uh, we'll follow the same track that we've been following. We have a very rigorous process and uh, requirements for us to uh, provide this financing to our developing countries. For very poor countries, we provide grant financing, but for uh, regular um, middle income or upper middle, in middle income countries, we provide the regular financing with the proper terms and conditions. And we do and undertake quite a bit of policy reform uh, agenda with the developing, con developing countries through very detailed dialogue to see what's fit for purpose for the nation. And in the space of climate change, as you know, all of the countries that are um, members of our ADB has their nat uh, national, um, de nationally determined contributions, which means they do need to undertake certain reforms to unlock the climate financing opportunities in the, in the country. So we are mobilizing more policy-based mm. loans so that we can support this effort for the developing countries. 